Hello everyone. I am Mrs. Mary Anto from Upper Public School, handling English for Class Six. Today we are going to learn about the question answers from supplementary supplementary reader. In this lesson, we have only question answers, no meanings. Once, if you read the story, you can understand the meanings. The story, the words which is given in the lesson is so easy for you to understand. So there is no need for me to give you the meanings in these lessons. Here, we have only five question answers, and those are very easy to understand, to learn, to by heart, and you can keep it in your mind. And whenever I ask you the questions or a test is given to you, you should be able to answer the questions fast. Come on, now let us start with the question answers. Yeah. Before beginning, I told you that you have to make a part for writing supplementary reader. One fourth of the books pages should be kept for writing supplementary reader. Now we will go to that part, and there on the front page itself we will write supplementary reader in bigger letters so that you won't be confused. Or you write only supply half of that. Needn't have to write supplementary if you do not know the spelling. Needn't have to write that full spelling. Supply S U P P L E a point and reader. That will do. And we will write on top of the next page. Lesson one: A tale of two birds. Under that, you can write answer the following questions, and you can begin writing the question as well as the answer. How did the two baby birds get separated? Already we had learned how did they get separated? How did they get? Can you tell me? A strong wind blew them away, and on that day there was heavy rain and storm and lightning and other things, and the trees in the forest shook in such a way that this tree had fallen down and. We didn't have to write this much big answer for that. Only one sentence answer. That is, a strong wind blew away the baby birds to the other side of the forest. A strong wind blew away. The baby birds to the other side of the forest. While writing the words, you should spell the words correctly, and you have to write them. Now leave a space, leave a line, and write the next question. Where did each of them find a home? Where did each of them?
find a comb. Where did each of them find a home? Each of them found a home on the other side of the forest. And one of them found a home in a tree that stood near a cave of robbers. And the other one found a home in a tree near a rishi's asam. The two places should be mentioned. Each of them, each should be written in capital. And your handwriting should be very neat and clean and tidy. So that I'll be able to read what you have written. Understood? Each of them found a home on the other side of the forest. On the other side of the forest. One of them found a home For the home in a tree that stood S T O O D stood near a cave of robbers. A cave of robbers. The other one Found a home in a tree near the Rishis R I S H I lost P S Rishis Asam. Question number three. What did the first bird say to the stranger? What did when you write the questions or answers, every word should be written, leaving some space. Don't write it all except you should leave some space after writing one word. What did the first bird say to the stranger? 
What did the first bird say to the stranger? The first bird didn't say anything to the stranger. But the stranger heard this bird speaking to somebody. Quick, hurry up. Somebody is sitting under the tree. Come fast and rob him up. Take his jewels and arms. Or else he will slip away from here. This was the news given to the robbers. The first bird did not. In short, we call it as didn't. Now, didn't we have to? Uh, Say the answer as didn't. Did not is shortened as didn't. But when you write, you write the full thing. The first verb did not say anything to the stranger. But the stranger heard the first bird The stranger heard Chia Bip heard the first bird the first bird say to the robbers R O B B E R S should never pronounce it as R or double B and double T or whatever it is. You should read every letter by its name. B B E R S. Robbers. Quick. Hurry up. Quick. Hurry up. There is someone under the tree. There is someone under the tree. Come and take, come and take away. His jewels and horse. Come and take away his jewels and horse. Hurry. You have to make it fast. Otherwise, 
You will slip away off, hurry, orange. He will. Slip away. Slip away means you will run away. Now the leave a line. All right. Question number four. What is the second part? Say to him. What did the second bird? Say to him. The second bird was just opposite to the first bird. What did it say? The second bird. Please come in. You take rest. Feel comfortable. Uh, there is some cold water in the pot. You can drink it and take rest till the rishi comes in. Every time you write a question and it's answer, you have to leave a line and then you have to write. Then it will look beautiful and the person who reads it can understand. Okay? The second word. Said to him. The second word said to him. Welcome to the ashram, sir. He welcomed him. Welcome to the ashram. Welcome to the ashram, sir. Please go inside. Please. Go inside and rest. The Rishi will be back soon. The Rishi will be back soon. There is some cold water in the pot. There is some cold water in the pot. Please make yourself comfortable. Please make yourself comfortable. Did you feel comfortable when you asked us? To do all these things? Of course. He had been very happy because he was afraid when he, when he was with the first bird, he heard all these things like robbing him. But when he came here, he was a little relaxed and was happy hearing all these words from the second bird.
Now this is the last question. How did the Rishi explain the different ways in which the birds behave? How did the Rishi explain the different ways DI FFERENT different ways in which different ways in which the birds behave. The different ways in which the birds behave tell us that one is known by the company one keeps. And the Rishi explained that. The bird living in the company The bird living in the company of flowers are we yes? Talked like robbers. Talk like robbers. But, but the bird living in the company of, but the bird living in. The company of rishis company of rishis repeated the words of the rishis, repeated the words. of the issues. This is the end of the question answers. Now, the Rishis always spoke words which gave soothing to the ears of the people who visited them. So that's why the bird which lived in the company of the rishis repeated only the words what the rishis spoke. If he never heard bad things or bad words what other people were speaking. But the first bird, he lived in the company of robbers and he always talked like the robbers. So that's what the rishi said that. One is known by the company one keeps. This is the end of the lesson. I hope you all have understood this lesson. If not, once again, if you need, the explanation will be free. Okay? Thank you and have a good day. Bye till this.